Unseen by the naked eye, the first tale we delve into is the infamous ghost of Lawang Sewu. This historic building, known for its thousand doors, is said to be home to a Dutch lady who took her own life. Late at night, it is believed that her ghostly figure can be seen wandering the hallways, forever trapped within the confines of the old building. Our journey through the spectral side of Jakarta continues with the eerie legend of the Jeruk Purut Cemetery. Legend tells of a headless priest who roams the graveyard, searching for his lost head. Some say they've heard the chilling sound of his bell ringing in the dead of night, a haunting reminder of his eternal search. Next, we find ourselves at the Pelabuhan Ratu Hotel, a beachfront resort with a chilling reputation. Room 308 stands empty, reserved for the Queen of the South Sea, a mythical spirit known for her wrath against those who disrespect her. Stories of unexplainable occurrences in this room have added to its eerie legend. Lastly, we explore the urban legend of the Jembatan Ankol, or Ankol Bridge. This bridge is said to be haunted by a woman named Mariam, who was allegedly murdered there. Many claim to have seen her apparition, draped in white, appearing and disappearing at the stroke of midnight. So, what have we gleaned from these tales of the supernatural? Jakarta, a city with a population of over 33 million, is not just a bustling metropolis, but a city with a rich tapestry of urban legends and ghost stories. From the mournful Dutch lady of Lawang Sewu to the headless priest of Jeruk Purut Cemetery, the wrathful queen of the South Sea at Pelabuhan Ratu Hotel, and the tragic Mariam of Jembatan Ankol, each tale adds a chilling layer to Jakarta's intriguing history. So, as the sun sets and the city's spectral inhabitants come out to play, remember these tales. They're a reminder that every city has its secrets, and Jakarta is no exception. These are not just stories. They are a part of Jakarta's identity, a testament to its vibrant history and culture, where the line between the living and the supernatural blurs into a thrilling ambiguity.